Dokkan Battle 8th Anniversary. There's a good chance that like the previous year, some type of new mechanic or item or something will be introduced to kind of spice the game up. Um, last year we didn't really get a new mechanic. It's more so that we got the, you know, 200% leader skill uh, meta, which was definitely, I think, you know, a pretty big thing to see. But, you know, if you look at the past years, we got a bunch of mechanics during the anniversaries themselves. Uh, the second anniversary, we actually got super attack counters. The third anniversary, we got the transformation mechanic. The fourth anniversary, we got active skills. Fifth anniversary, we didn't really get a mechanic, but it was skill orbs. The sixth anniversary was the revive. And then the seventh anniversary was the actual power group jump. So there's, again, a lot of things introduced during the anniversaries. So I think it's pretty, you know, good to say that there could be something like this introduced during the 8th anniversary this year. Whatever it's going to be, I actually did make a video some time ago talking about it. 8th anniversary uh, could be, you know, these specific set of characters. Um, if you haven't seen that, feel free to check it out. I might make an updated one, though, now that we're closer. Uh, I made that back in, like, probably November at this point, I think, right? Um, Very long time ago, so... Probably just does deserve an update, but let's just talk about this right here. So this is a post made by Alan Dokkan. Um, let me just refresh this because it's not loading correctly. I'm following Alan, uh, as you see right there, but I can share. Uh, shout out to Alan Dokkan for making this actual little post right here. But this is the eighth link system concept. So further explanation in the comments below, but in his opinion, a system like this is badly needed. Many units are dead on release due to links. You know, I feel like a lot of people have issues with LR Ultimate Gohan that just came out, the LR Beast Gohan, um, because of his link set, right? This would breathe new life into the game and allow, allow teams to flow more, you know, how they should, right? So, you know, like there's always teams that specifically want, let's say, prepared for battle. Maybe even want to make a shocking speed-based team, say, in lineage-based team, right? So, here's kind of how it's like looking, right? So, you see, it's the same name, it's like a general pool, right? So, you see, basically... Um, I, I guess the links that you can't change fierce battle legendary power, but you see all the links in red You can kind of exchange with the links in blue So I'm assuming what you could do is you'll take a look. Here. Yeah, it says right here non-customizable fierce battle So it seems you can't customize fierce battle legendary power Which makes a lot of sense because those links kind of are tied to those characters, right? So as long as they have the same name, uh, which you know, this is Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Goku, right? We see that you'll be able to, for example, um, give this guy, you know, you could tr give him shocking speed for the 8th link slot. For this guy's 8th link slot, you could give him Kamehameha or, you know, Saiyan, or, yeah, Saiyan Wars, a Golden Warrior, right? You can kind of do something like that and mix and match these links, right? So these are the links that aren't shared, essentially, okay? That makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe this guy you want to experience fire for some reason. Same lineage, right? That could be very helpful. There's a lot of interesting, like, ways you can kind of customize this here. I think it's a really good idea, um, having an 8th link like that. Let's see the explanation here, though. Again, so the concept. Common pool of links created by, uh, created based on any links shared by characters with the exact same net, the name. Could be locked behind achieving full level 10 links. I think that would be fair, give more playability. Links from any other character, not sure. So yeah, what I would say is, if it's like that, then if you get a character the full level 10 links, you would get access to the 8th link for that character. And of course, the 8th link would also be full level 10. So that way, you don't have to refarm all the other characters that you have available to get, you know, the 8th link to level 10. Um, maybe it's like truth would like that, but, you know, most people wouldn't probably. And I would say, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. On top of that, um, I would say maybe there could be leeway given. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit, but it would be it would be fine for it to be the exact same name, but it would be unfortunate for certain characters that I feel could be better with some of these links, right? So, uh, pooled links can be given to the eighth slot for the character. Only one can be given in the slot, openly changeable via currency similar to hourglasses. Only the eighth slot is customizable. Yep. All links are customizable apart from a fierce battle shattering the limit of the legendary power. Could follow the similar rules as above. It needs to happen sooner than later. Link sets are just a bottleneck. They don't serve a real purpose other than making the game worse. They could be a great power boost in many units, just like the link level update was. 
any old gotchas now have these issues with force team building and like a customizability uh please ask for this like in a survey and yeah that's pretty much it here unique characters will get a completely new link based on other variations of a character for the eighth link considering there aren't many unique characters in the game this wouldn't be that much work remember only applies to awakened units links like kamehameha would not be able to be given to all characters because it requires a certain animation of prerequisite okay so like kind of like you know if a character doesn't actually do the kamehameha you know i guess in a super attack animation or a super attack you know then he wouldn't be able to have the kamehameha only which would make a lot of sense right um i think i could definitely see that so yeah i mean i brought up some examples i think here again the biz biggest example right now is this guy um imagine if Okay, did I no did I close it? Imagine you had the eighth link for this guy, right? Shares the same name with this Esther Ultimate Gohan. You could just slap Saiyan Lineage around this bad boy, and then bam, with the eighth link you have Saiyan Lineage and main key link. That could be extremely helpful for you. Uh basically that'd be the biggest thing, even like with this transform type ultimate gohan, right? Let's see, you know, you have cold judgment here. Maybe, you know, hey, you're okay with, with the shocking speed. You slap Cold Judgment on here for extra defense. Maybe have a team that lets you feel works for key, which I feel like is not really probably consistent, but it could be a thing, right? Even this ult SD Ultimate Gohan, slap on Shocking Speed for him, he'd be a lot better defensively, right? I think there's a lot of options like that that could help. Even like this guy, right? This guy doesn't have or keep Saiyan Lineage after he, you know, does go into Ultimate Gohan, although it's not really like common. Um, for you to transform it this guy and maybe in the future when he gets these a right slaps uh saint lineage on here that could be very helpful for him um stuff like that again for units that have like a little more of a wonkier side of link set you know if they have a character that has a very similar link set to each other that could be extremely helpful right um but yeah just looking here at the rest of gohans i mean do any of the Super Saiyan Gohans here have Saiyan lineage? I don't remember at the top of my head. A lot of them just have really the same kind of link set. Just the same Gohan link set. This guy, does he have Saiyan lineage? No, he does not, right? So, like, that, that I, I was looking for, like, you know, some units that you would like to give Saiyan lineage. But, unfortunately, they just don't have that link set there. So, yeah. I mean, it do be like that, though, for a for. All right, um, that's pretty much it for Gohan. We have Broly here. So again, this is what I was talking about was a little unfortunate, right? Because like for this full power Broly, like you said, like Alan said, there's no other Broly of that nature, right? But I think the biggest thing people would like to see from like an eighth link would be the ability to get Broly's led, um, you know, uh, big bad bosses, right? And that would only be achievable with this Broly Chi Line level because I don't even think his TUR has big bad bosses. No, it's just the LR. Um, yeah, see, this guy has normal scene links. Well, the LR here has big bad bosses. You know, Call Judgment could be interesting to give it to some of these Broly's, but since this is, you know, Broly Chi Line Lemo and not even just, you know, Broly, you wouldn't share the same name. So, I don't know, maybe. Uh, maybe what if it's just the name of the character as long as it's the same character like this like all Broly's get it all Goku's can exchange links you know <coughs> excuse me and maybe with some restrictions like you know um Saiyan Roar can't be given to non Super Saiyan 4 characters or Kamehameha can't be given to non some non you know Kamehameha characters that may be able to work better even though maybe it's maybe it's a little too much of a um actual thing also I, I guess I should know I just coughed right into the mic I'm so sorry <laughs> it came out of nowhere man but um <laughs> we see I think being able to give big bad bosses to a lot of these Broly's would be extremely helpful so maybe if it works like that that could be interesting um, I would like to see that a lot. But yeah, those are all my thoughts in the Broly section, really. Um, we also have, again, the Super Saiyan Goku, right? I was kind of talking about it. Maybe you can give this guy Saiyan Lineage, right? That could be pretty helpful. You can give some of these guys extra key links. Like, you know, imagine this guy having, like, you know, an extra key link. It's like, again, Saiyan Lineage, even Shocking Speed, right? Some Super Saiyan Gokus do have the Shocking Speed link if I'm not mistaken this guy has all like a three trifecta of key links that could be really really good right for like again a unit like this who probably would prefer to have you know a little more key to consistently hit that you know key um restriction that he wants 
maybe this guy could be getting all in the family right as a defensive unit having all in the family would be really sick right so that'd be helpful and a lot of these units even this Namek Goku getting on the family could be really good for a stacking right a lot of good options this Super Saiyan Goku even all in the family right I think that could be helpful like imagine you get all in the family from um there's just a bunch of Super Saiyan Gokus this was a new STR one here well I guess the other STR one the STR one is um what's it called the exchange but this guy has on the family if I'm not mistaken right uh, yeah, you do. So, like, you could just give him all in the family right there. Bam. And this guy, bam. That's a 20% defense of the shit, right? That can be extremely helpful. I mean, if you look through here, how can Goku... This guy has prepared for battles, doesn't he? Yeah, like, prepared for battle right here. So, like, you can give this Kaoken Goku the LR prepared for battle easy. And then he'd be able to link a lot better on some of these more, like, you know, modern prepared for battle based teams. Uh, I'm not sure what else here. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? You can give LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's shocking speed. That could be pretty helpful. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I don't know if none of these guys have prepared for battle though, right? There's just tons of options here. You know, Blue Goku, you can give a lot of them. Uh, if this guy keeps the same name, I guess. Or this guy has, you know, over in the flash shocking speed. That could be helpful. This guy having prepared for battle, you can give it to the LR God Goku who doesn't have that, right? There's so many options here. First Awaken, you can get First Awaken from this guy to these two. That could be nice. Um, this guy has First Awaken too, doesn't he? I mean, First Awaken is a pretty powerful link right there. So you can get to LRUI Goku, right? That could be interesting. Give LRUI Goku uh, over in the Flash. That could be helpful, right? Just so many like options here that could be really good. Even giving this guy again shocking speed. Um, just a lot, a ton, a ton of options to do there. You know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you can give these two Saiyan Roar that could, you know, help this guy feel like a lot having the extra Saiyan Roar link. Uh, what does Saiyan Roar give again? That gives 25% attack, 10% defense. I think that would help this guy a lot for sure. You know, you can give this blue Gogeta <laughs> prepared for battle from this guy. Uh, no, he has prepared for battle, doesn't he? You can give him over in a flash. Or no, 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 he has just over in a flash, right? Yeah, you can give him prepared for battle. Easy, easy. You can do something like that. That can be really helpful. You know, this guy, you can give him... Um, yeah, actually, you can't really... From these two... You can give him Fused Fighter, actually. That's what it is. Fused Fighter. He's the Fused Fighter's leader, but he doesn't have the Fused Fighter key link, right? That's really bad, I feel. So you can give him Fused Fighter there. Very easily, he can become a much better leader for that team, right? Um, and the last one I want to bring up is just Frieza. Um, there's probably a lot more options I just haven't thought about at the top of my head. But Frieza here, yeah, Golden Frieza, the tech transforming one, he does actually have a big bad bosses. I guess I should show on the screen. This guy actually has big bad bosses or even Thirst for Conquest, right? Imagine giving LR Golden Frieza big bad bosses. That's a game changer. <laughs> like, this update could be so helpful for so many of these units. Well, this guy probably doesn't really... Yeah, I guess it would be... Like, he, he doesn't need it, but you imagine how much powerful he would be with that link, right? Very, very good. Um, uh, it'd just be very, very helpful for so many of these teams. And again, there's probably just so many different units that you could think of to, like, give it. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll just go to, like, G. Um... Yeah, I can't really think of any at the top of my head. Like, Goku Black, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's just, there's, oh, there's a lot of different potential options for this, right? And I, unfortunately, I can't really think of everything at the top of my head. But if there's any character you would like to see affected by this key link that I didn't really cover in the video, or maybe I get did cover it and it's like, oh, I really like this character. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll be very interested to see. But that's all for me. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.